Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be construction workers, road construction workers, because our reading from Isaiah says, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. And so if we're going to make a highway in the desert, in the wilderness for our God, we're going to become construction workers. And I'm not going to put it on, but here, you know what this is? This is a hard hat. Every construction worker I've seen recently wearing a hat. So if something hits, hits your head, it doesn't hurt your noggin. Also, you have a safety vest because here it is. You can see that you don't, if, if the cars drive by, guess what? You're gonna to wanna to be seen by the cars. The nice bright colors. If you're working at night, this reflects the light so that they can see you. Gotta have your safety glasses on, right? That way no, no dirt or pieces of gravel or concrete get in your eyes. If you're working with a jackhammer, know what these are? These are for your ears. So it's not too loud and it ruins your hearing. And then these are kind of important. If you're, if you're pouring concrete, these are knee pads. And you wear them so your knees don't get sore because sometimes you're working on your knees all day long. And so those are the things we need if we're working with actual concrete trying to make a road. This is what God says as we prepare a road for him. This is our construction work is that we say we're sorry for our sins. You know, sometimes we do some sins. We don't listen to our parents. We say a naughty word. We lie cheat, steal, other sins, the way to repent, the way to make our road straight, to fix our road, is to say, God, I'm sorry. And then trust that, Jesus, that your sins are forgiven for the sake of Jesus. But we're not just being construction workers, or part of being construction workers, I should say, is also what God also says to us today. He says, comfort, comfort. Comfort my people. Oh, after we're done, after we're done with construction, you know what? There's nothing better than getting into a, maybe laying on the couch with a nice pillow, right? Oh, this, this one's especially comfortable. Look how nice and soft it is. Nice pillow right there. You, you can get some good comfort from this pillow. Of course, if you have a pillow, you gotta have a blanket too, right? Have a nice, Nice blanket to wrap up in, keep, keep comfortable while you're reading a book, watching TV, going to bed. And of course, we like good food. Do you like jello? Orange jello? Hey, good food, nice soft pillow, nice soft bed, nice soft blanket. After working construction, getting some relaxation, some comfort. You know where our real comfort is? Where God, just like God really just wants us to, to say sorry for our sins. Here's where our real comfort is. See what I have here? I have a manger. And there's a baby lying in the manger. And you know who it is. It's Jesus. Jesus is our comfort. He's our, I'm going to say it twice. He's our comfort, comfort. Because that's what our reading says. He's our comfort, comfort. Because he came to be born and, and he actually got the name Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins. And so today, your construction workers, say sorry for your sins. But know that Jesus is your comfort. Jesus is your comfort. Hey, you all take care and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. In Jesus' name, amen.